All right, it's been a while since I've made a video, but on this one, I'm going to be looking at one of Harbor Freight's Union uh, safes here. This one's a dual entry, takes a key, and then has a keypad on there. This is an electronic uh, safe. So, uh, on this thing, the item number on it is 62978. 62978, that's your item number right there. And this right here is your dimensions. Yeah, it's decent. So, first things first, you get the manual, you get two keys, some batteries. That's pretty cool. I thought I was going to have to buy batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff out and then we'll see what it looks like. So after flipping it and taking it out of the box, I noticed that there's some holes here and they're already pre-drilled. So you're able to actually mount this and I'm pretty sure the back has that too. Let me check it out. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually mount this safe in a lot of places. Save your keys. And it gives you a couple of warnings there. And yeah, make sure you set all the codes correctly for sure. Because if you lock the keys in there and you don't get the code right, you're going to be screwed. All right. So this thing won't open. So yeah, I'm going to have to use the key here. I still got to figure out how I'm going to put the batteries. So I'm going to turn that. I don't think it gets any batteries. Nope. So. Oh. Let's see how this works. So put in the key. Turn it. Turn this. Pull. There we go. What comes in here? We got, we got a treasure. Let's see. <laughs> nope. Some felt. It's probably for the bottom. Oh, cool. This comes with the little... I guess that mounting was for these little feet that you could put on there. Or you can mount it another way. It's really cool that it comes with all this stuff. Also, a desiccant. <laughs> Here's a nice little screw all on its own there. Might, it might have escaped from the bag. There might be another one in there. I don't know. I'll have to fish that out later, but... Check that out. So you can mount that onto the wall. Or not on the wall, concrete. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So you can mount this to the floor or something. Or, I don't know, some someplace on concrete. Um, I think I'll put that little felt in there. Just to have like a little buffer. Oh, check it out. So there's that little cut slot there. And I think that's what goes right here. I'm just guessing at this point. <laughs> I don't know if that... Ah, it does. Look, fits pretty nice. All right. I'm going to show you how to program this. So I'm going to hold that button. Okay. There's the proceed light. And I'm going to go ahead and... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hit the B. And I'm just doing this as zeros just to show you guys. I'll put a different code when I'm done with this video. So... There we go. Go ahead and lock it. Can't open it unless I use the key. I'm not going to use the key no more. This is really, really cool. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. B. There we go. Ready to open it. Yeah. That is nice. This is cool. Plus, Harbor Freight makes the... Ow. So, <laughs> Harbor Freight makes the really big ones. And they make, they make a whole bunch of them. When you unbox it, you actually get the little diagram with the actual um, mounting there. So you get all these mounting holes that line up for the front and the back. So if you want to use this as a template, let's say you were going to mount this somewhere, all you'd have to do is just use this paper. You can, you know, punch right through it or use it, you know, to drill right, to drill your holes and stuff. So this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to put all my goodies, all my treasures and stuff in this thing and I don't know if I'm going to put the feet. What I think I'll do is I'll, I'll mount this thing. I'll mount this sucker somewhere. Probably not to the concrete, but I'll mount it somewhere. This thing. But anyways, I think I'll go ahead and end this video here. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. And uh, hopefully I'll have a new one here pretty soon for you guys. So see you guys on the next one.